Hello everyone, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about a Dempier and some Java code and Eclipse and Postgres and how they all work together and uh, show you a little bit on um, some information about sending an email. So this semester in college we've been working on a database to where if you have a meeting for uh, your profession you can open up this graphic user interface, this GUI, and you can input uh, like the information from the meeting and the different participants of who came to the meeting. And then when you edit uh, some information in the uh, like the minutes of meeting in the window that we made, and uh, you go to save it, the code that we write will automatically uh, recognize that you edited this window and then it will send an email out with the new edited information to all the participants. It's a really cool after save uh, piece of code. Now how it works is using Java and Eclipse uh, you want to initialize a Dempier and you want to run it through Eclipse as like a swing version and then you'll want to like generate your model uh, which will be like your base code and the cool thing is you can extend out to another uh, Java file in mom like a minutes of meeting for mom and inside of here we got this code out of the cookbook inside of here you can edit the code to where um, It'll say different information about, uh, like, this person has been updated to this system, and um, it will send out that email. Now, the problem I was having was my database was not correlating with uh, Postgres inside of Eclipse, and I keep having this error of, like, CMOM, uh, there's no persistent object, and it can't find this AD table. And that goes back to like initial initialization errors. And without completely wiping everything off of my desktop and starting over, I had to kind of work around this issue. And so I kind of like chopped up this code a little bit and uh, edited a whole bunch. And it still wasn't working because it can't pull from the participants over here inside of uh, the interface we made. So uh, another way I worked around that is I went out and I found some code uh, that sends an email through the same SMPT server, uh, the Google, and um, I edited that so it would uh, look the same as the email I wanted it to send. And so this was like a work way around a workaround I had I had to do. And so when you insert the inf information you want in it and insert the text with the page breaks or if the line breaks and you run that code and then I have it to where it will say it's, it's successfully sent and then you can come over here and you can uh, refresh and then you'll see right here where the code is sent and it says hey this has been updated to the system and then this is what I mentioned in the system so this is pretty cool it took a lot of work to get there um, I hope you guys, this kind of helps you guys out a little bit about what it looks like to hook up an email with Java Eclipse and then back here is Postgres with my, all my information and all my tables. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming up.